Okay, so, um, uh, so in my previous talk, I, in, at the end of my previous talk, I defined two maps between the prime spectrum of the commuted ring map and the Burma spectrum of this reality category. And so this is the definition. And today I, I want to consider also. So we want so we will study the properties, topological properties of this. And first we have the following theorem. S and large S and small S are always over with um, order reversing. Order reversing map. Which is not so difficult. Such that the composition. identity but we can describe this as follows. So support and supporting. So taking I supporting but I, and then take, taking support and the result is the same as this composition. So we can describe these two compositions. So and in particular so this so the first so all the these are all the reversing and uh, and also, uh, this is kind of um, section de reduction there. So from here we can show that a cool dimension, not Burma spectrum, is always less than uh, bigger than or equal to the cool dimension of spectra, namely the cool dimension of the community going now. Okay, so we, we have always we always have this inequality, and this is the first statement. And second, we have the following diagram. Um, R to the Burma spectrum to the cloud. This map is S, and this is small s. And also we have here a subset of pain prime ideal, this PCD minus R, pain prime. So we have this already. And the statement, the assertion is that this map S, so that S factors through pain. We have a map here, this is S prime, I, I, uh, which uh, I, I denote by S prime. And also, we, we can compose these two maps. So this is the inclusion map and this map. We have small S prime. Okay. And then, uh, This map is actually, this is an open map and bidirection. This is a, first, this is a bidirection of sets and open map. This is also an open map with respect to the Zeiski topology of spec R and 
the relative topology of this the subspace topology here. This is an open map. And uh, this map is always continuous. And so this is also so this is always continuous, huh? of course. So this is continuous. So the composition is also continuous. And also this is also bisection. Okay. And moreover, um, with respect to this inclusion, uh, this is a dense subset of the borrowed spectrum. So this is dense. We have such properties. statement and um, third statement is working. So we have again we have a diagram. So from we have a map from spec R to the Borman spectrum. And we consider that the minimal elements of spec R with respect to the inclusion relation, namely, mean spec R denotes the uh, minimal prime of the committed green R. And on, on, on the other hand, we also consider the maximal element of spec R, which are nothing but uh, maximal ideas of R. And also, we have here a maximal element of and minimal element of SPC. And this map, large S, actually this induces a map from here to here. So minimal primes of the car to maximal primes in the Barma spectrum. And we also have a map here. This is and moreover, this is always injective, but not necessarily bijective. Um, we have uh, this map. This, this the upper map is always homeomorphic, and the lower one is also homeomorphic if R is semi-local. So finally, so this is the third statement, and finally, the following are equivalent. So, we have we have no pro no pro so we don't know any property topological property of large S. So we want to we may want to so you you want you may want to know when this map is, for example, continuous. So and this is actually uh, characterized as four. So S is continuous if and only if so S prime so the this map. S prime is homeomorphic, and small s prime is homeomorphic. So all of these three conditions are equivalent. And moreover, this is also equivalent to the following very strong condition. There are only finite domain primary fields. Okay. So in particular, R has clearly mentioned at most one. Yes. And 
as a corollary of this theorem, so I, I don't have time to explain the proof of this theorem, but as a corollary of this theorem, uh, so if we assume that R is Artinian, then we say much more, much, much more things than this. Actually, the, in, if, if R is Artinian, then this map, these two maps are actually homeomorphic. And so, in particular, this inequality, so the equality of this inequality holds. So if R is Artinian, then the Varma spectrum of the crew dimension is equal to the, the original, uh, the crew dimension of the original base. So it is equal to zero. And if R is Artinian, then this is also equal. So, and, and, uh, uh, yes. If, if, so every every prime ideal is, is taken. We can show it by using just by using this diagram. If R is Artinian, then these two inclusions are equal equalities. So these two inclusions are also equal. So from here, from this, uh, we can deduce such properties. So, so, this is the properties of S, our maps, large S and small s. And now, using these properties of large S and small s, I want to consider classifications of ideas of B minus R. So, 3.2. So to do this, first let's con let investigate the relationships between uh, among compact radical and tame ideas. So we have we, we have already introduced the notions of compact radical and tame ideas. So let's consider the relationship among them. The proposition. So let x be an idea of p minus r. Then first um, we can check that. So so I will explain the notation later. So x subcompact is equal to the, uh, the bracket of support of x. Maybe I should I should explain this now. So here, uh, x. So for some property p, for each property p of an, of ideas of b minus r, we denote by we denote by x to the p x upper p, uh, the p closure, namely, this is the largest, the smallest, smallest p ideal of d minus r containing, containing. And really, we also introduce x sub p, the p interior. Which is by definition the largest p ideal of p minus r contains n. If they are exist, if they exist, we use this this notation. This notation. So this means that this is a compact interior of X, namely small largest compact idea of containing containing X. 
is actually equal to the bracket of support of data. So we can describe explicitly. And well, so yeah, CPT is not compact. And rad is not radical. So X so this is a compact in theory, and the radical closure of X is equal to actually equal to the radical of X. So this is very natural and easy to see. And we also we can also show that X tame closure of X. The tame closure of X is equal to the support inverse. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. So this map is this is the, the original one is wrong. So support support. Okay. Yes. So support inverse support. We can we can describe explicitly the uh, compact interior radical closure and enclosure. By definition, x is contained in x tame, no, x large. And so these two inclusions are trivial, but x, the radical closure is always contained in the tame closure. We can show this. We have these inclusions. And moreover, these four, these four ideas have the same support. So if you take support, support the support of these four ideas, then the result is the same. So the same these have the same support. And from this inclusion uh, we easy we, we have we, we, this inclusion especially says that any same idea is radical. And uh, this, the proof of this proposition is very Straightforward. Yeah, just check. Just by checking the uh, definition of closure or interior, we can see this. Okay, so now to state our next main thought, let me introduce some notation. So, first, we denote by rad R A D to be the set uh, by uh, the set of radical ideas of D minus R. Okay. And similarly, we denote by tame the tame the set of tame ideas. D minus R, not by compact 
CPT will be the so this is, CPT is the set of compact idea of the minor power. Okay. And um, three more. SPCL, so this is the, the abbreviation of specialization clause of SP spec will be the set of specialization clause subset. SPCL TSPC. <laughs> this is the set of specialization cross subset of the same the set of same parts of B minus. <laughs> and finally. By Tom, the set of Thomason subset of the Barma spectrum. So we need this, we need this, this notation to state our main result, next main result. Next main result. So, which, so our next main result is the relationship, relationships between among these six sets. So, theorem. So we have the following diagram. map is given by taking the Barma support and this is SPP inverse. So we have already known this. We have we have already known learned this. Actually this is nothing but the, without the, the theorem of Barma. So the radical six tensor ideas are classified by the Thomas and subset of the Barma structure. Okay. We have we already have this. And here, maybe I can write here. We also know this one-to-one -one correspondence. Is 
compact regenerated also. So we say uh, such idea uh, just simply compact. So we have already done this. We have already done this. And the, 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 the assertion of theory that, uh, that this theorem is the point. First, we have also a map from here to here, from here, and the opposite direction. So by taking from compact to that rad, we just take the radical closure. And from rad to compact, we take the compact integral. And we also have here I will, I will give the definition later. So this is given by S bar, and this is given by S inverse. And here we also have uh, SPCL pain point. And this is given by taking large S, and this is small S. And this is one key point. And finally, we also have pain here, pain here. <coughs> yes. We have these maps. So this map is given by pain closure. And this is given by taking compact interior, one to one again, and uh, complicated. this is given by taking user support, this is supporting the So there are many marks, actually. So from here to here, and from here to here, and this is one to one, but this is the last one. Now the diagram is complete. And the, yeah, still we have so these three correspondences are not necessarily one-to-one uh, -one correspondences. But uh, if we denote, if, if we use the following notation, okay, G, I cannot read this, if something G, uh, if g f is equal to 1, so I mean, if f and g, the, if the, the pair of f and g is a section refraction pair of s, we use this notation. So then, uh, this is actually. So no, that this, is, this doesn't mean that uh, f and g are adjunct pair. Just, uh, just this. This means simply this relation. Then we have, and uh, this diagram is naturally commutative. So all of these are commutative. And this, for this, for example, for this square, if we take the the arrows from the bottom to the top, then uh, this is the commutative, namely. From here you go if you you go from here to here and from here to here and if you go from here to here and from here to here then the result is the same and the convert is also true so from the top to the bottom if we take the the arrows these two arrows then again the diagram is committed okay so and uh, I explain some notations. So, so the definitions of these maps, for example, so what is S bar? So S bar W is defined to be the union of 
the closure of the, this one point there. And that's inverse. For example, for what is it is what is this these two maps? So these two maps is given by uh, these two maps are given as follows. So A is A lower is this now is the largest specialization close subset of the same prime. Contain A. And on the other hand, the upper SPCL is the smallest. Yeah, this, this, these two are kind of uh, interior or closure in the form, in, the, in that sense. Uh, the smallest. B. And so I, I don't think I don't give the, the, the definition of all stuff, all, all, all of these things, but for example, what is SP? So SP is SP is just the, the Burma support restricted to the same part. So there are many other uh, maps, for example, here. So if, if you're interested in this, yeah, please ask me. Okay, data. So what I want to what I want to emphasize is that these these are all one to one correspondences. Actually there are one, two, three, four, five, six one to one correspondences. And also this diagram completes the uh, so this diagram this diagram connects the result of Barber, classical not classical, but result of Barbar and our new result. So, so these two one-to-one -one correspondences are connected by this diagram. Okay. Moreover, so the statement is not finished. So moreover, the following my equivalent. So still, there are three correspondences, correspondences uh, which are not necessarily one-to-one -one correspondences. So we need to characterize when they are actually one-to-one -one correspondences. So first, so we have large S, small S here. So we have these two maps. And this is a one-to-one -one correspondence if and only if these three is three correspondences are one to one. So three, so rad compact. So this map, this pair, rad and compact, is one to one. And the next one is uh, S bar, is inverse. Is one to one, and the final one is SPCL. Yeah, is one to one, and 
Moreover, these four conditions are equivalent to the following. So, lab is equal to k. So, we have already seen here, so any same, same idea is radical, so which means that the radical was always contain k. So we already know this. And the, the equality force, if and only if these, these section retraction pairs are one to the <coughs> have several corollaries of this theorem, but maybe let me give one of them. So again, let's assume that R is our team. Then what happens? Then If R is Artinian, then, as I said in the previous theorem, if R is Artinian, then these two maps are bidirectional, so these five conditions hold uh, two. two. And moreover, we can we can deduce from this theorem that every ideal of d minus r is compact radical and So in the Artinian case, all ideals are compact same and radical. So Three classes are equal and uh, whole, uh, equal to the whole idea. So we have already learned this. So every uh, the fact that the statement is that every idea of d minus r is compact in the previous talk. But using this theorem, we also we can also show that uh, every idea is also tame and in the Arkinian case. So in, in the case where R is Arkinian, everything is clear. So we know everything about ideas of D minus R. So next, so this is the end of subject uh, section 3.2, I think. So now let's consider the Barman conjecture for our tensor triangle discovery. To do this, we need to make more precise investigation about the radical and tame ideas. So we have already done here in this proposition that x rad 
is contained in X chain. The radical closure is always contained in the chain closure, as in the top position. Or in other words, um, not in other words, but, but closely related to this inclusion, uh, rad always contains chain. So we have we have this inclusion. So uh, we are interested in when these inclusions are actually equal. And we have we, we have a partial answer. So if if R is Artinian then rad is equal to chain. But how about the point? Or something like this. And the following theorem says that this inclusion is not necessary. This, this inclusion is not necessarily true. Theorem. So let W be a specialization cross subset of the R. And set x to be the bracket of w, which is compact. So x is a compact ideal. Then assume that, so we need this assumption somehow. Assume that r is either a domain, integral domain, or a local domain. We assume R is either a domain or local link. And and uh, W is non empty proper subset. Okay. We assume these conditions. Then then what happens? Then the radical closure of x, so this x, is not equal to the same closure. Namely, this is strictly contained, strictly contained in the same closure. Under such, not, under such mild assumption, we can always show that the radical closure and chain closure are different. So let me keep the proof. Maybe let me give the ideas of the proof of this theorem. How to prove this theorem? First, since W is non-empty, we can find a prime ideal in W, of course. And let's take the system gener generators of this idea, x1 to r. Okay. Then, consider the following complex. direct sum of all Kozu complexes of the, the power of this sequence. So, and shift is by R. So x to the i denotes the sequence, the power of this sequence. So x1 to the i, xr to the i. So we consider this complex. Then, thanks to this shift, this is this is this lives in d minus r. So this is an actually infinite direct sum, but this thanks to this shift, uh, c is 
actually in V minus R. So we can consider this complex in our category. And then we can actually show that uh, C is in C, C is in X N but not in X Y. So this statement, this assertion, so this conclusion uh, follows from this. And from so to show that C is in the same closure, it is it's almost obvious. The point is if C so C is not in the radical radical closure. And to prove this statement, uh, we show we use that a key point key point in the proof of this statement uh, is that the annihilator of C in the homotopy category or D, D minus R, whatever, annihilator of C over R is equal to the intersection of these ideas of R. So the annihilator is this one. And since our since we assume that R is either domain or local, we can show that this is equal to zero by so-called cool intersection theory. So this is a key point in the proof of this thing. So as a corollary of this theorem, we can say something about the Barman conjecture of OD minus R. Stating the corollary, let's recall what Barman's conjecture says. So Barman, the conjecture, I think 1.7. So this is this is a, this appeared in my first talk. So he conjectures that low. E dot the map from the Barma spectrum of tensor triangle to the category T to uh, the homogeneous prime spectrum of some graded commutative ring RT. So this is locally injected. consider this conjecture in our tensor triangle category D minus R. So in our case, what is rho? What is this map rho? Rho dot D minus R. So this is a map from, of course this is a map from SPC D minus R to the spec H. What is this way? R so R T dot is defined to be the home set of unit to the shift unit is shifted by something. So 
this is the definition of R0. So what is this mean in what is this? So RT RD minus R goes is by definition form D minus R and what is one? So unit is in this case unit is R and shift R shift is by something. But of course uh, the positive part or negative part of this form is zero. So this is actually equal to R. So this ring is nothing but the original base ring R. So the homogeneous prime spectrum of this ring is nothing but the usual prime spectrum of R. And moreover, uh, this is not direct, but not so hard to see uh, the following force. I mean, low d minus r dot. So this, of course, this you this to prove this, uh, we need the, the definition of those three dots. But anyway, so I, I don't have time. So this is equal to s. We can prove this. So our f, f, f is this map around here, small f. So the Balmat map row is, in our case, coincides with s. So We can restate the conjecture of Barmer I mean the conjecture of Barmer for our D minus R says that just S small s is injected, locally injected. Okay. So oh, by the way, D minus R is a, of course our algebraic triangle category. So this is a uh, stable category of the Frobenius category, C minus R. So this is algebraic. So the conjecture says just that S is injective or injective. OK, so now we can see our corollary of this theorem. Assume that uh, the ring R is positive, uh, positive has positive pure dimension. And again, we assume the same assumption in the theorem. So R is, R is either the domain or local. Yes. Then, Indeed, we can show that uh, by using this theorem, we can show that S is not injected. S is not locally injected. Namely, Barman conjecture force is false for our tensor triangle category. Barman This corollary, the proof of this corollary is not so hard. Just by using this theorem, we can find some prime, prime ideal of E minus R, which is not K. So using this proof, so using this conclusion, we can find a prime ideal, which is not K. And then 
we can show that the, that prime idea and its tail closure go to the same point by S. So S is in, not infected. So that, yeah, the proof is something like this. Anyway, uh, the cost the government, this condition is not to for our B minus R. Okay, so now I have five minutes, I think. So let's uh, enter section four. <laughs> but only, only, of course, only just uh, one or two without uh, possibility talk. So section four is, what is section four? So this is the case, this is concerning the case of discrete variation. As we already saw in many places, uh, if R is Artinian, then everything is clear in this direction. So the first non-trivial case should be the case of discrete variation rings. And in this case, we can, so I, I just, I just give, I should write here, because of time, I just give the main result and hopefully one corollary of this. But maybe okay. so we can show the foreign theorem just by very complicated calculation. So theorem theorem is the following. So let R be a discrete variation ring in the R. Then for each non-negative integer n, we set Pm to be the full subcategory of D minus R consisting of all complexes x in x such that uh, there is a non-negative integer t uh, such that the baby length baby length of the homology minus i homology of x is less than or equal to t times i to the m for all i consider such a, such subcategory. Why? Because if we consider this uh, Pn, then we can show the following. First, Pn has the precise explicit generator. So this is the tensor closure of the following complex. Uh, R of x to the three to the n, arm of x two to the n, one to the n, zero. So that the, all the differentials are zero. Of, of course, if since r is uh, dvr, r has global dimension one, so we can replace each complex by uh, homo by its homology complex. So we can assume that every complex is has zero differentials. Okay, so but then Pn is uh, the thick closure, thick tensor closure of this complex. And to, by using this, we can show that Pn is a, actually a prime idea of Pn is prime. We can show that all, all, for all non-negative integers n, Pn is a prime idea. And of course, so this is not so difficult or almost obvious that we have a filtration or ascending chain P0, P1, P2, P3. So we have this ascending chain of prime ideas, which shows that the cool dimension of the Varma spectrum of P minus R is in so, 
by taking such such specific uh, ideal, uh, we can show that the Barba spectrum has infinite plural dimension. So, and of, of course, this is only for the DV, the case where R is a DV discrete variation ring. But we can use by using this theorem, we can modify uh, the assumption very so. So we can replace the assumption. Just I think. Uh, R has positive curl dimension, and uh, R, if, R, if R has a prime ideal of positive height uh, in the regular locus, so very mild assumption. For example, if R is a um, normal domain, then we can also show this property. So I think this, this conclusion is not specific for the case where are we PBL, but maybe all, almost <laughs> always we have this, this equality, unfortunately. This is kind of sad news for me. But anyway, he said that uh, the Barma spectrum of E minus R is rather complicated. So thank you very much. I, I, I have no idea. 